The metaphor, growing pains, is often used to describe the emotional distress arising during adolescence. There are numerous novels, television sitcoms, cartoons and comics, all of which deal with the various issues we face growing up. This tells us that growing up is a challenge for us all, regardless of religion, race or gender. But what, if any, are the additional challenges a Muslim woman faces growing up in Canada? With the number of Muslims in Canada expected to triple over the next 20 years, Islam has and will continue to come under the spotlight. Muslims living in Canada are increasingly becoming a visible minority within society. This, however, presents its own challenges. For Muslim women, one of the most visible differences between them and others is the Islamic head covering the hijab. And this may very well lead them to being treated differently at college and within the workplace. How can Muslim women overcome the misconception and bias prevalent within society and manage their religious obligations with their Canadian identity? How can Muslim women live and practice their faith amidst the pulls and pushes of Canadian culture. These are some of the many questions that we hope to answer by coming to the streets of Toronto. And how well are Muslim women integrated within Canadian society, so um, in different aspects of it? Um, I think once again that also runs the gamut because I could be working with someone or talking to someone and not really know that they're a Muslim woman. If they have a headscarf on, I might make that guess. So I, I would think, or I would guess, maybe a lot of them would feel excluded um, in certain parts of the country, maybe smaller towns where there's not a large Muslim population. Uh, somewhere like Toronto, they might feel a little more, you know, part of the crowd. Uh, with respect to immigrants, how do you think immigrants are um, integrating within Canadian society? Uh, from my experience, it seems you know there's the first generation where the the parents are making a lot of sacrifices and probably working at jobs that they wouldn't otherwise be working at if they were in their country of origin. And then the children are working very hard in school because their parents want them to and because they want want to do well. And then you know I think in a couple of generations, people are are succeeding in that way. What do you think Muslim women or Muslim in, Muslims in general have integrated within Canadian society? Could you comment on that? Um, I'm actually from the United States, but from what I've seen, I'd say that um, Muslim people, you know, don't don't really face too much discrimination, or you know, they're very accepted in Canadian society. I would say more so than in American society. Well, I'm not sure if this really counts, but I haven't really seen very many Muslim women in the Canadian me media, so uh, it's not really playing very well, I suppose. Um, uh, it would be good if we could have some, as with all women, but for Muslim women specifically, if, if they could become um, leaders in their, their, whatever the environment they're in, in school or uh, when they're out of school in the workplace and then hopefully politically as well as role models. I think that would be really good because we're probably lacking that. So someone like me doesn't know too much about that. <laughs> How can we continue to develop a tolerant, respectful and diverse Canadian culture? Oh boy, education's the big one. Uh, you know, Muslims need to have, I think, a voice in our news and in our media and on our television and radio so that we just become more familiar 